Hello everyone. Today we are going to derive the expressions for slope and deflection in this beam. This is a simply supported beam subjected to uniformly distributed load W per unit run for the whole span. The span of the beam is L. We know that if the simply supported beam is subjected to uniformly distributed load for the whole span, the maximum bending moment occurs in the center and it is W L square upon 8 and the moment diagram will be second degree parabola. The reactions will be W L upon 2. Anyway, we are not going to use them. If you wanted to know how these reactions and this moment comes, there is a link in the description. You can click the link and watch the video. And this is the conjugate beam. We need to divide the moment by EI. Let us keep the loading in the conjugate beam upwards. So the reactions should be downwards. Let us find the reactions RA dash and RB dash. This parabola is symmetrical. So it is very easy to find the reactions. We have to divide the area of the parabola by 2. The area formula is 2 upon 3 B into H. Here the breadth is L and this is the height. So this is the area. The area divided by 2, we will get RA dash and RB dash. Let us find the slope in the point A of the real beam. That is the shear force at A dash in the conjugate beam. Using the right hand side rule, let us find the shear force. It is acting downwards, so it will be negative. In the similar way, let us find the shear force at B dash using the left hand side rule. It is acting downwards, so it will be positive. So this is the slope at A in the real beam and this is the slope at B in the real beam. The maximum moment will be in the center. Using the right hand side rule, let us find the moment in the center C dash. RA dash is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is L upon 2. The distributor load is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. For this load, we have to multiply the area with the centroid distance. Up to the center, we have the half parabola. We need to take that. Let us take a similar parabola. Let us keep the breadth of the parabola as B and the height as H. So this is the area formula. The centroid distance towards the right is 3B upon 8 and towards the left is 5B upon 8. We are finding the moment about C dash. About C dash, the centroid distance is 3 upon 8 into B. Here the breadth is L upon 2. So it is 3 upon 8 into L upon 2. And we saw the area formula 2 upon 3 into BH. Here the breadth is L upon 2 and this is the height. So this is the area. Using a calculator, we can add these two terms. Minus 1 upon 48 plus 1 upon 128, we will get minus 5 upon 384. This is the maximum moment in the conjugate beam. So it will be the maximum deflection in the real beam. We have got a negative expression. That means the deflection occurs downwards. Alternatively, we can find the expressions using integration. We have to make a section xx at a distance of x from a. Let us find the moment about the section. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction, so positive and the distance is x. The UDL is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so it will be negative. Let us take this rectangle. The area is W into x and the centroid distance about the section is x upon 2. Finally, we will get this. This is the expression for the equation of the parabola. Let us keep this as y. To find the area of the parabola about the section, we have to integrate y with the limits 0 to x. For x, it will be x square upon 2 and for x square, it will be x cube upon 3. We know that the limits are x and 0. No need to apply 0 because all of the members will become 0. Instead of x, we have to apply x. So the value will be same. We don't have to waste the time by applying those limits. We can directly write this here. To find the moment area, with y we have to multiply x and then integrate. So x into x it will be x square and x into x square it will be x cube. We can integrate for x square it will be x cube upon 3 and for x cube it will be x power 4 upon 4. Finally we will get this. We know that for the conjugate beam we have to divide the moment by EI. 
So these two should be divided by EI. We know that the total distance is L. So to find the total area in this instead of X we have to apply L. So we will get this. We know that RA dash and RB dash will be the total area divided by 2. So the total area divided by 2 we will get RA dash and RB dash. Then we can find the slope in both of the ends just before we knew how to find them. Now let us find the bending moment on the section. Let us make a section at a distance of x from a dash. We need to find the bending moment on the section. Let us keep this as the centroid distance on the left side. Using the right hand side rule, let us find the moment on the section. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so negative and the distance is x. The distributor load is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. We know that we have to multiply the area with the centroid distance. This is the centroid distance that will be x minus x bar. So area into x minus x bar. We can multiply a with x minus x bar. So it will be ax minus ax bar. We already know the area. With that we have to multiply x. So we will get these two terms. And ax bar we have here. We can enter that. Here there is negative. That is why here it will be negative and here it will be positive. For our convenience, we have to keep 1 upon EI all the time outside. After simplifying, we will get this. We can use a calculator. 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 6, it will be 1 upon 12. Minus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 8, it will be minus 1 upon 24. In this term, we can multiply in the numerator and denominator. Then we can take minus W upon 24 outside. This is the expression to find the moment at any point in the conjugate beam and this is the expression to find the deflection at any point of the real beam to find the maximum deflection which occurs in the center. In this expression instead of x we have to apply L upon 2. After simplifying we will get this. This is the elastic curve. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.